Ducati 916, 1994-1998, Review and Used Buying Guide. The Ducati 916 managed to achieve something very few other bikes have ever managed, it transcended the boundaries of the market and gained universal recognition and praise from both motorcyclists and non-motorcyclists alike. It is this fact that makes the 916 such a standout motorcycle and was a major reason for its iconic status. Now, the Ducati 916 is the poster boy of a golden era of motorcycling. New bike sales were booming, track days were beginning, modern tires were making knee down possible, speed cameras weren't common, and petrol was under one pound a liter. King Carl Fogarty reigned supreme, packing brands hatches banks with supporters, and giving the whole of the UK a feel-good factor. It made motorcycling cool again and made Ducati what it is today. Add to this the fact the 916 changed the way designers styled their bikes, forced the Japanese to flirt with V-twin engines and even arguably created the leader bike class due to its domination of the 750s in WSB, and you can see what a revolutionary machine it was then and remains today. Ride quality and brakes. Fashions change, but riding a Ducati 916 remains a very special experience, whereas taking to the roads on other 1990s machinery can be a distinct disappointment. The focused riding position is uncomfortable at slow speed and the clutch horribly heavy, but up the pace and it all makes sense as your knees slot under the recesses in the tank, and hanging off for bends becomes second nature. The handling isn't as razor sharp as a modern sports bike when it comes to initial turn-in, but get the Ducati over and it tracks beautifully and feels rock solid mid-corner. Engine the Lazy Desmo engine delivers a wonderfully visceral riding experience and that is accompanied by the booming V-twin soundtrack that sums up motorcycling in the 1990s. Just add Termignonis for the ultimate oral accompaniment. Reliability and build quality. Ducatis of this era require careful looking after. Service every 4,000 miles, replace cam belts every 10,000 miles and check for base gasket oil leaks. The dry clutch is a weak spot too. Our Ducati 916 owners' reviews are very positive, as you'd expect from buyers of an automotive icon. The negative comments are about costly ownership and maintenance, which you'd also expect for a piece of exotica like this. Value versus Rivals After its launch in 1994 a mystique developed around the 916. It was picked up by the high rollers and it appeared in countless music videos, movies and perfume adverts, all of which helped create an exotic aura around the bike. Sex sells, and the 916 was a two-wheeled Lothario. You can never predict if the physical attractiveness of a vehicle will be a success, as the 916's successor, the 999 demonstrated, but with the 916 its designer Massimo Tamburini certainly had a good start. Not only had Tamburini already created some beautiful Bimota models, he based the 916 on two surefire winning themes, sex and performance. Low mileage examples now command strong prices, expect to pay over £6,000 for one. If you're buying an SP or SPS version, make sure it is one and not a tarred up standard model. Equipment Viewed from above the 916 has the silhouette of a voluptuous lady with a thin waist and ample other proportions, which is no coincidence, and certain other design features were used purely for aesthetic appeal. Ducati had no plans to endurance race the 916, so the use of a single-sided swing arm was simple vanity. Where Tadao Baba refused an inverted fork on his fireblade, Tamburini went for it. And that's the difference between the Japanese and Italians when it comes to design, although the 916 styling was heavily influenced by Japan. Specs Engine size 916 cubic centimeters. Engine type 90 degrees V-twin, fuel injected, 4 valve per cylinder desmodromic valves, liquid cooled. Frame type tubular steel trellis. Fuel capacity 17 liters. Seat height 790 millimeters. Bike weight 195 kilograms. Front suspension 43 mm Showa. Rear suspension Showa Rising Rate Single Sided Swing Arm. Front brake 2 by 320 mm discs, 4 piston calipers. Rear brake single 220 mm disc, 2 piston caliper. Front tire size 120 70 17. Rear tire size 190 50 17. MPG, costs and insurance. Average fuel consumption. Annual road tax 101 pounds. 
Annual service cost £460. New price. Used price. Insurance group. How much to insure? Warranty term. Top speed and performance. Max power 109 brake horsepower. Max torque 65 FTLB. Top speed 160 miles per hour. A quarter mile acceleration. Tank range, 